Hey guys, Imperium here with another video for you all. Uh, so this video is directly inspired slash taken from a tweet that was put out by Aristocratic, a competitive Vainglory player and a fantastic person within the community. And we put the this tweet out with tips on solo queue players that they should apply when playing the game that will make for themselves, for their teammates, and an overall better experience. Uh, so first, I'm going to uh, directly say what he tweeted and then maybe expand with my own thoughts and, and you know, back them up with, uh, you know, with my own words. So, yeah, let's get on with this. So rule number one is indicate your goddamn role when you're in draft. Pretty straightforward. When you're in solo queue draft, your teammates don't know what, you want to play you don't know what they want to play make it easier for everybody involved by indicating your role or position you play various positions indicate something that you prefer and then it can be adjusted otherwise you know within the first 20 25 seconds but not picking anything you're not helping anybody that's it fact straightforward and draft go you know goes by in a matter of seconds you know so just try to make sure by the time it gets to the first pick, as in the ban phase, is over, you have your roles indicated. It's just going to make it easier for everybody. Simple as that. Rule number two, pick your own fucking hero, unless otherwise asked. If your first pick and I'm the roam, and you pick my roam without me asking for it, you're laning it just saying. Worried about your alpha getting countered so early in draft? Chances are you suck at every other hero. This is um, definitely a little bit harsh, but it's really true. Um, you know, and I'm going to be somewhat hypocritical with um, what was my attitude to solo queue. Um, in terms of previously, I did have the attitude of not, as a main support, of not picking my role. Um when it came to my turn to pick, uh, the reason why is because there's so many strong carries out there that should be kind of prioritized in my opinion that picking support isn't as important. But after some negative experiences, I think I'm gonna apply this kind of attitude unless clearly communicated in draft by the rest of the team, as in, you pick this hero and I'll pick your captain. That kind of thing. Otherwise, I'm just going to pick my captain, you know, secure who I want to play in that role. And whatever happens afterwards is whatever happens. So number three, respond in chat. You're not blind and you can read English. You're not some highness T8 that doesn't respond when asked about something. It's so true. Uh at the end of the day Vainglory implemented chat for a reason so it can be used so it can be um, you know taken advantage of by people in solo queue and, and make a better experience so when somebody asks you a question in chat just simple like you know what hero would you like you know just respond it's pretty straightforward it, it's not rocket science most people have a basic grasp of English maybe it's easier for me to say because it's my main language but Unless you're from a far-fetched country, you're going to understand some form of English. Use it. It's it's going to make a better experience. Rule number four. The jungler gets a weapon power buff early game. Don't think your mighty Voxer Idris is going to do anything with level one AA slow. In 90% of the times, if you do steal his buff, he will run down mid. Me included. Um... I don't think it's 90% of the time, but it does become really frustrating if you're jungling and the bottom lane carry does not give over the weapon power buff to you in the early stages of the game. It, it just it doesn't help. There's a reason why there's a, a certain um, meta, so to speak, within the rotations, within the um, buffs going over to whoever they need to in the early stages of the game. When you're the jungler and you get the weapon power buff, you're going to be able to do more pressure in the bottom lane, help hopefully secure a kill onto their top laner and overall get a turret as quickly as possible. But if you're the bottom laner and you're really selfish and you try to secure it, you're not really going to do much um, with it and you're only going to frustrate both your jungler and the rest of your team. So just follow that tip, please and thank you. Number five, do not ping I need help first few minutes in top lane because, oh, I can't farm, there's two people against me, then thumbs up when you die because you can't farm under turret. 
yeah, top laners uh, or people that play top lane, uh, they sometimes think, oh, you know, I'll be fine. Or, yeah, you guys need to help me. No, top lane is the lane that that gets put under pressure that, you know, is exposed to 2v1 situations by the enemy team. The best thing when you're playing top lane is just play passively. Do not, you know, overextend. Do not engage expecting you're going to get help from your support or your mid laner. If the rest of your team is very heavily ahead in the game, yeah, then they might rotate up to secure a kill. But other than that, play passive and wait for them to come to you rather than you trying to engage something. And then if you react badly... It's only going to piss other people off. So know the meta. Know the situation that's happening in front of you. And just play safe guys. Don't feed the enemy team. Number six. Following number five. Don't try to take your carries buffs. If you're behind the top lane. Just because oh I need to get back into the game. This just doesn't apply to top lane. It applies to every lane in my opinion. But yes. Um, if you're top lane. Uh, you know, Don't take the buff on your mid laner. It's not really going to do much for you and your team. It's only going to cause frustration. And it's same thing if you're. Let's say you're bottom lane. And you're struggling in the early stages of the game. And you're not really being able to get to the level you need to be. To hit your power spikes. And your mid laner is having a really good game. Bullying the mid lane. Getting the kills. Is fed as fuck. Give him the farm, give him the advantage, give him the bus, give him what he needs to carry the game until you get to the late stages of the game yourself and until you hit your power spikes. At the end of the day, even though you're in solo queue, it's a team game, guys. Play as a team, work as a team, secure that win and enjoy the experience overall. This video is intended for anybody that it can help. Low tier, high tier, mid tier, doesn't matter. If you know somebody that can benefit from this video, from these tips, share it with them. You don't even have to make it obvious. Just go, oh, the Imperium posted this video. You know, make a bullshit excuse. It doesn't matter. Or you can say it straight out and go, look, you need help with this. Follow these tips, mate. Either way, if you can help somebody, share it. If, if you know, all that jazz, do what you can to milk make solo queue a little bit better we're all in it for the same reason simple as that um i will link aristocratic's original tweet as well as quoting what he said in his rules um my name is being appearing thank you for watching and see you next time